Hey guys, it's MazeMan112 and I'm playing a little bit of Titanfall with you guys today. Today I'm on the map Colony playing a little bit of Hardpoint. So let's go into today's topic. Now one thing that I get asked a lot by, uh, by subscribers, by friends, but by a lot of people is... How do I start a YouTube channel? And, you know, really, you go through the whole bunch of, you know, the gamut of things to tell them. And, and I guess I was able to break it down to about 10 things. So I'm going to go ahead and go over this with you guys of, you know, tips for YouTube and tips for starting a YouTube channel. The number one thing that I have on my list is branding. This is something that, you know, I didn't exactly do the greatest at, but it is one thing that you want to stay consistent with. Have your brand something that people are going to be able to recognize. Get rid of all the letters or the numbers and the backwards and the elite spelling of everything like that. It might look cool, but it's super hard for them to find you if they're searching for you. And that's key. You want to be easy to find someone that stands out. So you want to avoid a lot of numbers at the end of your name and like I said, a lot of just goofy characters and everything like that and stay easy to find. Another thing is you want to make sure that you're consistent. If you're playing on the PlayStation or if you're playing on the Microsoft, make sure you have the same gamer tag. Your Twitter handle should be the same as your gamer tag. Facebook, all that kind of stuff. People want to see consistency in that and it just helps them be able to find you in all the different formats or places that you might be available in. On to tip number two. Now, tip number two is be consistent and upload consistently. This is one of the things that I struggle on as well just because it's hard to find the time. So what you need to do is let your subscribers, let the people who are your, your viewer base know when to expect to be able to find you. When they can expect to be able to find your content and new content without continually searching. So whether or not you can only upload twice a week and you want to make it like a Tuesday, Thursday thing or a Monday, Saturday or if you're uploading three times a week, be consistent with what you're doing so they know how and when to find you. Number three on the list is have good content as far as audio and visual. Now I understand that not everybody can have uh, the greatest content out there and be able to have the best equipment. Be the best that you can be with the equipment you're given. There's a lot of free programs that you can use to help clean up your audio, to help you know bring up your different sources, and, and to help you edit it. There's a lot of free programs out there that will work with you. Be patient and able to, to work with it and get that quality to the best of your current capabilities. And then you will maintain that standard as your equipment improves. On to the next thing is thumbnails. This is a hard thing as well because you want to make your thumbnails catchy. And to be catchy, they need to be eye-popping, not too busy. But what you really want to do is, is stay consi is consistent with checking what is the top thumbnails out there. What are the big videos? What are their thumbnails looking like? Whether or not it's just the color pattern that everybody seems to be going with. It seems like you see it go through in waves of what the best and most consistent thumbnails on the top of, of all your searches are. Pay attention to that. Next thing is make sure that you have good tags. And not only good tags, make sure you have tags that are really pertinent to the information that you're going to be putting out there. Uh, too many people try to just stay with the current uh, you know, hot topics from Miley Cyrus and you know, twerking and that kind of stuff. But if your video doesn't have any of your tag content in it, chances are it might show up in the search but they're not going to look at it. Now, there are lots of different programs that you can use. There's Google Ad Search where you can actually go on there and it tells you how many people have searched this. And it's a great indicator. And what you want to do besides just using those keywords, you, know, the, you want to also make sure those tags are in the title of the video. Now, I know a big thing for people to do a while ago was to also kind of load up the bottom of your description with a lot of extra tags. Uh, this is something that they're starting to crack down on a little bit, so I, I don't advise doing that. You can still add tags because I want to say that it actually takes the first 300 words that you put in your description and uses them into the logarithm to see if you pop up or not. So use that to your advantage. The next thing is networking. Now, there's a big part of this that I think a lot of people miss when it comes to networking, and this is networking with the right people. It's huge to do this because you can network with a lot of people on YouTube, but it's not always the right people. You need to find people who have a lot in common with you as far as their work ethic. They're willing to put in the the effort and the time that it takes to make their channel successful. They also have they have good content. They have content like yours. You you want to be around people uh, like you and not be around people who are always looking for something. That that is what I really mean by the right people. You're going to find out that there's going to be a lot of people out there 
who want something for nothing, and they think that you owe them something. These are not true friends slash networkers. Th these are people who are just trying to put one over on one. They're going to subscribe to you real quick, hope that you subscribe back, give me a shout out, and the next thing you know, you don't hear from them anymore. Stay away from these people. There is a lot of them in the community as well. I don't like talking bad about the community, but when you have such a young, at its core, community, you're going to have this, this slightly immature tactics that kind of happen. So let's go ahead and go on to the number seven thing on the list. That is be active with your subs. Too many people think that, you know, I'm running the show here. I'm the star. You come for me. That's not what it is. They come for the interaction. And, it's, and really, that's why you should be here too. So make sure that you're responding to their comments. You're checking out. If you know, hey, I just started a new channel, go check it out. I'll gladly go check out your channel. And if you want some any kind of tips or anything like that, I'll give you some tips. That's what I'm here for. I'm here as kind of a bounce back. And I'm here because you guys support me. It would only make sense that I would support you as well. On to number eight on our list. And that is be patient. Now, this is something that I struggle with. Is uh, is an American, I guess, that American kind of uh, mentality is this immediate gratification. I don't want to wait for nothing. So you you expect to be able to get, oh, I see this guy. He gets 100,000 views on these videos. I can do that. No, it, it takes time and effort to be able to get to that point where you're able to get. Yeah, you'll have some lightning in a pan type thing that happens every once in a while. But for the most part, it was time and patience that helped these people get off. And, and another thing that you have to understand is that. YouTube is a roller coaster. It's going to have its ups and downs. You're going to have those days you're like, oh my gosh, I got I got 10 subscribers today. You know, especially in the beginning out, you're, you 10 subscribers, you you go crazy over. You know, you're like, I actually have people who watch my video on a consistent basis. And then you'll go through other times where you're just in the doldrums. You can't seem to pick up a subscriber for months or days and everything like that. You just need to be patient and continue being yourself and it will happen. Trust me, it will happen. Number nine on the list that I have is to make sure that you enjoy your content. That that's one thing that I feel like a lot of people don't don't do. They don't they don't watch their own content. They're doing it purely to get videos out there, and they're putting out what they can do rather than what people want to do. Um, if you're one of those guys whose your channel is trying to be a funny, uh, you know, kind of pranks and everything like that, make sure that the jokes you find funny. If you're looking at it and you're not really laughing at it. What makes you think that everybody else is going to? And it's the same thing with the tips and the tricks and everything with the news. If you yourself wouldn't watch it, then why are you posting it thinking that other people will? Make sure that you enjoy your own content. That is huge. And the last thing that I have on the list is to start now. Uh, if you're comp contemplating starting a channel, there's no time better than the present time. That, that's just the way it is. You can't go back and say, oh, I wish I should have started my channel back, blah, 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 blah. You, you can't do that. You have to stay consistent with it and, and just say, you know what, I got to start it now. Whether or not you don't have the current equipment to start, well, I'm saving up. I'm saving up for my Elgato. What you can do right now is start getting a name out there for yourself. You can start going on Twitter and, and getting your name out there with some of the people in the community, the people that you're subscribed to and the people that you want to to be a part of. So, you know, start going on Twitter, staying active on their channels, and on top of that, start getting some of the behind-the-scenes stuff together. You can start getting some of the programs that you need together. Uh, start getting yourself a logo or and all that kind of name recognition that we wanted to work on so bad. Start working on that stuff, and you'll be able to... That was a super big fail right there is you guys will be able to to do a lot of the stuff that's super time extensive there's stuff that b besides actually making the content and recording the gameplay that takes a lot of time to get into place like i said the logo make sure you have all the right email contacts that you want to with that make sure you have an idea of what your channel layout wants to be what kind of agenda that you're looking for with your channel you can even put down some channel ideas get some that are already in the box that we have some videos to go with to kind of go ahead and stir it up that is the big thing and besides that the big thing that you guys have to know with youtube is do it for fun don't go into YouTube thinking this is going to make me rich right now because it's simply not going to be the case. You see a lot of people that start a channel and realize very quickly there's no way to make a living off of YouTube. Now, some of the big channels, they do, but not like they used to. And it's really apparent if you go ahead and look at some of the bigger channels out there. If you look like an FPS Russia or a Woody's Gamer Tag White Boy, they're not making... A 
the, you can see they're branching out. They're starting to make a, you know Minecraft servers and sell shirts and and do all this other way to try monetizing this money, investing in games and doing that kind of thing because they know that ever since was it about a year and a half ago where the entire pay structure of YouTube got completely refigured, it is almost impossible to make a living solely based on views. Now views and some, you know and sponsors on top of that, yes, you could do all right. And if you're a, a giant channel, you could do it as well. But for the gaming people out there, the gaming community, it's a very small number. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys leave it in the comment section below. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Spotlight, make sure you guys go ahead and check it out. Is Titanfall doomed to fail?